Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the ESP32 Pico Wi-Fi Bluetooth Ball Sigmatic. Okay. So, um, this is our Sigmatic. This is our Sigmatic. The first things, let's take a look at our ESP32 Pico for this part. Okay. So we zoom here. From the data sheet, we already know the ESP32 Pico circle is very simple. It's very simple. So only we need the power supply. This one, this one, 3.3, .3. VDD 3.3, .3, okay? And here, this is the antenna interface. And this is for the enable pin, for the enable pin. So you will see for the Pico chip, we didn't have any other uh, components, okay? So we also wire out most of the GPIO, wire out all of it. So here, we use two connector to wire out the GPIO. Is this one? Is this one? For this one, we also have one uh, five watt from USB, and we also have two three point three watt output uh, power supply. Okay. So this is a Pico uh, chip and connector. Uh, next, let's take a look at uh, this one. Take a look at the power supply. Okay. The power supply, as we mentioned it before, the ESP32 Pico chip only need uh, the minimum. The minimum requirement for the power supply is 500 million. So we can use one LDO. We use one LDO here is RT90A0 3.3 volt. Okay. So uh, for this LDO, the data sheet is here. So the data sheet is here. So this is RT90 and A0. And the output current is six million, six hundred million. Okay, so, so it is six hundred million. We choose the um, the voltage is three point three volt. Okay, so this is the power supply. Here we the power supply the input input power is from the USB is this one uh, from the USB connector from the USB connector so this is the power input when the uh, when we plug into the USB the USB will provide the 5 watt here and uh, turn on this LED okay it will turn on this LED so we can we we know we already power the ball, and uh, at the same time, the LED will output 3.3 volt voltage here to supply the chip. Okay, to power the chip. Okay, to power the ESP32. Okay, so this is the power supply part. Next, let's take a look at the USB. So this is a USB connector. The USB connector provide two function. One is uh, provide the five watt power. Okay. Another one is provide the USB connector. Okay. We have two. Um, we have two pin for the USB communication. Uh, USB DN and USB DP. So 
For these two pin, we will connect one USB to UR chip. So this is USB in, and this is UR out. This is UR out. The UR will connect to the um, ESP32 Pico here. Okay, this is the UR communication pin. Okay, this is UR communication pin. So you will know, you will notice, uh, you may notice here we have another two pin, DTR and RTS. These two pin will connect one dual PMP here. DTR and RTS connect this dual PMP here and the two control these two pin. One is enable, another one is IO0. This two pin is used to uh, download or boot the ESP32 Pico chip. Okay, so for the auto program, the setting we are like this. Okay. So we will control these two pin through these through these two pin, okay? Control the enable and IO zero through the DTR and RTS. Okay. So here this is the uh, TVS uh, dial. This is the TVS dial used to protect uh, the chip. Protect uh, the USB to UR chip. This USB to UR chip, we use the uh, uh, CP2104, okay? We use this one to, to do the communication through the USB. Uh, so we can download our software into the ESP32 Pico, okay? So this is a uh, uh, this is a micro USB and a USB to UR circle. So next, here we have uh, we have two key. One is this one, another one is this one. We can manually control the download and reset. Also, we can use these two key as a normal key. So we can press and uh, into and uh, running one function and uh, press another one to run another function and uh, this one is very simple is LED we use one GPIO to control one LED it's very simple but it's very important why when we download our software into the ESP32 how we check how we check it is running or not so we can run we can we can run one led hello world application inside the um inside the chip this this is uh, uh the first software we running into the esp32 pico to prove our download is correct and also to verify our ball is correct okay so this is uh, schematic for our uh, for our ESP32 Pico board okay so this is a DIY board is a very simple one so this is a schematic okay so next next time we will uh, take a look our board our naked PCB board and uh, to see uh, to see the ball, what it looks like. Okay, so this is this video. I'm Michael. See you next time.